We measure temperature, that is, we measure how hot something is, in degrees Celsius, or sometimes we just say in degrees, and we measure temperature using a thermometer. So when a kettle boils, that means that it's heated the water to 100 degrees, so that's so hot that it would burn you. Now when it's really hot and the sun is shining, the temperature of the air might be around 30 degrees. So if you live in England, 30 degrees is the temperature of one of the hottest days of the year. When you're indoors, the temperature is usually about 20 degrees. And if it's snowing outside, the temperature is usually zero degrees or sometimes even less, so sometimes you hear the temperature might be minus one or minus two. Well, that means that it's even colder than zero. So we have four pictures, and on the right we have hotter or warmer, and towards the left we have colder temperatures. So we might want to measure temperature using a scale so here the temperature is right in the middle of 20 and 30. So what's the temperature here? Well, if every two markings we have 10 degrees, then every marking represents five degrees. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And that's where the arrow is pointing so we have 25 degrees Celsius. Now what's the temperature here? Well our arrow is pointing between 24 and 26, so we have 25 degrees Celsius. Now what's the temperature here? Well each of these little markings stands for one degree because if we count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we get to 10, and then if we carry on counting, 11, 12, 13, and that takes us to our arrow, so here we have 13 degrees Celsius. And what's the temperature here? Well, the arrow is between 10 and 12, so we have 11 degrees Celsius.